Well, Turner was born in 1775. He died in 1851, so his career coincided with a very dramatic moment in British history, the Napoleonic Wars, the Industrial Revolution, the expansion of the empire, and so on. Uh, he was a landscape painter, a history painter, a marine painter, a painter of modern life, um, of ancient history, um, a modern history, and um, a painter of the natural world. He was extraordinarily successful in his day, uh, and he's one of those rare artists who continues to appeal to contemporary artists today. Turner was an artist who painted dynamically. He painted, uh, he painted life, he painted energy, and that's true both of the way he handled paint and the way in which he painted things in nature, the natural world, things growing, things changing, weather changing, um, clouds moving across the sky, light breaking through clouds, uh, waves breaking on beaches, things like that. Uh, things aren't still in Turner's pictures, they're, they're full of energy and drama. Everything in the exhibition is things that I love, but I think the, the watercolour of the Blue Rigi that he painted uh, in the later, in the, in the mid 1840s, after spending each summer in Lucerne and looking out from his hotel room window across Lake Lucerne to the Rigi Mountain uh, and watching the way it changed colour at different times of day. The Blue Rigi shows uh, the mountain at dawn um, when it's still rather bluish in tone and you can still see the moon and the night star in the sky. Uh, but the morning light is just coming up across the lake. Uh, it's a magical work and, and uh, Turner was the most marvellous watercolourist and I think uh, that, that's one of his, his most beautiful watercolours. Um, and then any one of the late seascapes that he didn't exhibit and that he didn't sell and that he painted just for his own pleasure, sort of stormy seas, skies, waves crashing on beaches, uh, where he's really experimenting with a new way of painting and trying to capture the energy um, of the elements um, in painting in a way that he could carry over into his finished pictures, the ones that he painted for exhibition and to sell, uh, I, think, I think they're wonderful things and there are, there are three or four of them in the exhibition and um, any one of them um, I could take home and live with.